Now, for more on all of this, we have Daniel Bellon. He is the director of McGill University's Institute for the Study of Canada, joining us from Montreal today. Danielle, great to see you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So I wanted to start off by asking you about uh, this security concern for Liberal leader Justin Trudeau, the party not giving us any details on this, but it was quite clear there was a concern there with all the tactical officers and that bulletproof vest that he was donning as well. What did you make of all that? Well, it's not surprising that um, you will have the threat uh, directed at the party leaders and especially at the prime minister. And it's good to see that the RCMP is uh, taking uh, this very seriously, as they should. And, you know, we are, no country is immune to political violence. We have been quite lucky uh, in Canada in recent decades. But there are a lot of people out there who make threats uh, online, for example, and people who don't necessarily are not necessarily active online, but uh, who could have uh, uh, really uh, dark uh, plans. And so I think that the, the police, the RCMP, uh, uh, need to do their job, and that's what they are doing. So uh, um, it's good that nothing happened yesterday, but we have always to stay on guard. Right, and I'm not sure, Danielle, that I've ever seen this kind of reaction by uh, police for a specific concern, security concern for a leader. Uh, in terms of the leaders themselves, when they face these kinds of concerns, how do you maintain a focus and how do you stay on track? Well, I think it's 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 always difficult uh, to to do that. When you imagine your party leader, you're already under tremendous pressure uh, to um, to perform in public, and you can have people who shout at you and so forth. So that's already very stressful, uh, even when people don't shout at you. And imagine on the top of it that you know that they might that your life might be uh, in potential danger. That adds to the stress. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course you don't want to show that uh, publicly. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that it's it's uh, certainly a, a source of anxiety for uh, for candidates exposed to uh, to that potential danger. All right now, we do have to mention that both Andrew Shear and Jagmeet Singh condemned the threat, as it were, uh, online, uh, saying that they don't that 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 they uh, that's not acceptable. Essentially, um, I did want to talk about where all the candidates are now sitting in the poll, the Nana's poll that we read earlier. The Liberals are losing ground, it appears, uh, to the Conservatives. Uh, but where else do you think that they might be losing ground, given that the NDP are starting to perk up as as well? Yeah, if you look at the polls, the, the conservatives are not doing so well, uh, but the liberals are, are, are down uh, and, and the NDP is benefiting from that. I think that uh, or the other way around, the liberals are, are uh, uh, losing ground in part because uh, the, the NDP is moving up in the polls. So there's a, probably a transfer in terms of uh, um, vote attentions here um, from, from the liberals to the NDP. And Jack Mead Singh uh, is doing well in terms of his own popularity, he's doing better. Um, I think this is um, uh, a time, the campaign, or you, you look at what could happen on October 21st and you think, well, that will be first uh, probably a long night. And second, the odds of a minority parliament uh, uh, are really high at this point. So uh, that can lead us to, to think about all sorts of scenarios of what could happen, uh, minority government or even coalition government. There's still, of course, chance of a majority government, either conservative or liberal, but at this stage, uh, it's really uncertain. Now, given that we are talking about a min possibility of a minority government here, that has been the buzz given what we've seen in terms of a surge of the bloc and the NDP. Uh, how do you see pairings happening in the event that a minority government does form? Well, we don't know. Uh, and I, I, obviously, if there will be a, let's say the conservatives will end up with the most seat, but not uh, um um, ma majority situation, I think that they, they might be able to work for the bloc uh, or even the NDP on, on, on some things, but it's really early to speculate. Of course, you could also imagine uh, the liberal working, the liberals uh, working with the, the NDP um, or um, coalition government is also a possibility. There is not, it's not something illegal. It's something that's uh, possible. In that case, the only real, uh, uh, I would say, possibility will could be uh, NDP and liberals but it's really too early uh, to talk about specific scenarios I think that right now it's true that the odds of minority uh, minority parliament are quite high mm -hmm. but 
we will see how, how things um, sort themselves out over the next uh, um, the next uh, nine days. Right, eight, nine, eight days. I, I think it's eight, eight days eight, already. Yeah, 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 already. Yeah, yeah. Only eight Let's days. Count, wow. The countdown is on. The clock yeah. is ticking, Daniel Belland. That is all the time we have here. Thank you so much. Thanks for the invitation. Have a nice day. You too.